Hi everybody, I'm Chris Wood. Google Now can be a very powerful app, but unlike a lot of apps out there, it's not going to do a whole lot for you unless you invest some time getting it properly set up. So in this video, we're going to show you how to get more out of Google Now. Now, if you've only played around with Google Now for a little while, it's safe to assume it probably didn't do a whole lot. That's because while it can pull information from your phone and your Google account, assuming you let it, the real power comes when you use it more and it starts to learn your habits. Let's find out what we can do to really unlock the power of Google Now. I'm going to start with what is probably the most important tip of this entire video. If you want to get the most out of Google Now, you're going to have to feed it a lot of information. I give Google Now access to my email, location, calendar, web history, everything. You don't have to do this, but you should know that the less information you give Google now, the less it's going to give you back. One of the easiest and most effective things you can do to help Google now give you better information is set your home and work locations. Google now is usually smart enough to figure out where you travel just by studying your habits, but entering these manually will ensure that it always uses the right locations. Now here's one reason that can be handy. Right now I'm on the way home. Google now says I'll be there in about 16 minutes. Let's see if it's right. I just walked in the door and it has been 17 minutes. Not bad, Google now. A lot of Google now features aren't especially impressive, but are great as time savers. For example, for quick math, I find it easier to launch Google now and ask what 15% of 565 is, for example, than it is to open up the calculator and do the same. Other little features like being able to simply ask how many centimeters are in a foot, or just say what you want to search for rather than typing it in, turn out to be handier than you might think. A major plus compared to other apps is that you can type your question instead of speaking, which is a lifesaver in crowded places. Sure, you can ask it questions like other virtual assistant apps. Google Now is actually very good with this. But that becomes easy to forget about once you see its cooler, more contextual features. Now, there are a lot of Google Now features that only really become available when you're traveling, and they are some of the most handy. Translation becomes available, as does currency conversion. It's easy to scout the weather at your destination so you pack appropriately, Plus, if you want to know what time it is back home, all you need to do is ask. Speaking of time, this is an incredibly useful feature no matter where you are. At Android Authority, our team is scattered around the world, so it's handy to know what time it is in a given place before you send someone a Google Talk message. Google Now is time aware, so you can ask it to remind you to do something in 10 minutes or 2 hours which helps a lot when you need a reminder but don't want to open your calendar or set an alarm. Google Now isn't just about work and serious information either. If you're a sports buff, Google Now has a great sports card to keep you up on the scores and game schedules of your favorite teams. With a recent update, it even added college teams, but like a lot of cards, this isn't available everywhere. You can add teams manually if you like, but if you search for a team often enough, they'll start showing up in your updates automatically. That is probably Google Now's biggest strength. Most of the time, it figures out on its own what you need to know without you ever needing to tell it anything. Hopefully, you're now on the way to training Google Now to give you exactly the right information at exactly the right time. Just remember, the more you use it, the better it gets. Now, this is kind of a lengthy subject, so if you want to know more, we have a full article on our website. You can find the link in the description of this very video. We have new videos going up all the time, so if you want to make sure you don't miss a thing, be sure to subscribe to our channel. I'm Chris Wook for Android Authority, and thanks for watching. Time for dinner. Google, I'm hungry for pizza. We're pretty tight.